I'm going to do like a mock situation with you, okay? Uh-huh. And this is what a lot of guys do when they approach. So I'm going to picture this. I come up to you and I, and I say, hi, my name is Brad and I saw you from over there and you're super hot and uh, I wanted to, you know, buy you a drink. What are you drinking? Well, thank you. That's really awesome of you. I'm actually drinking Kettle One on the walk. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Okay. I'm a Kettle One girl. And what are you drinking? Um, I am drinking a Bud Light. So, you know, uh, what are you what are you doing here tonight? Well, I was going to ask you the same thing to tell you the truth. What are you doing here tonight? And are you with your friends or are you by yourself? Um, I'm I'm here by myself. So so what are you doing here tonight? Well, I was actually meeting a friend, and she didn't show up, so I thought, you know, before I took off, I would have a, a bit of a cocktail. I'm not going to finish the whole thing because I'm driving, but um, I just thought I would have a cocktail and just sort of see what was going on in, in the bar tonight and see if there was any, maybe somebody I knew or somebody interesting, okay. and you seem pretty interesting. Okay, great, great. Um, so, so do you like to come to this bar a lot, or, you know, you do, is this where you usually hang out? No, I actually, I, I've never been here before, and that's why I was curious about it. So I decided, you know, instead of, since my friend canceled on me, I thought, well, I might as well just go down, at least take a look and see what's going on down here. But I really kind of like it. What do you think? Um, it's great. Um, yeah, I like it. Um, what else do you like to do? Like, where else do you like to go out? Well, I really like to go to the Sunset Strip. I really like to, there's some hangouts downtown Los Angeles that I really like to go to. Um, there's a place, there's a rooftop bar that I really like to go to. All right. Um, Cut. We're going to stop the mock. Okay. So can you, so this, this is a typical interaction that a lot of the guys that I work with, that's how, that's how they interact with women. So what mm-hmm. you were talking about before, where you know you want to talk a lot about yourself um, mm-hmm. that type of approach would, would give you ample opportunity to talk about yourself, but, but I didn't, but you didn't. And how did that feel for you? And cause I, I could hear it as a woman and I'm going to say what I heard afterwards, but how did that feel for you? It felt okay. It felt, it felt okay. It felt pretty natural. Um, I'm thinking though, while I'm saying all of those things, I'm watching him and I'm kind of just looking at him and seeing if he's looking at his phone or, you know, if he's really giving me his attention. Um, and, uh, and that's, I mean, if, if I'm attractive and he's nice and he seems like, you know, he's not a, an ax murderer, then, um, I, you know, the, the conversation will continue. And then it would be ample, it would be a perfect time for him to maybe ask me another question about myself. And then I would cautiously tell him more. <laughs> okay. But, at, 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 but sorry, the maybe, oh, wow. This, okay. Uh, so then, but you, you, you liked what I was saying to you? Yeah, I thought it was okay. I really did. Really? I thought it was, yeah, it seemed, it seemed okay. It wasn't, it didn't seem, you know, I mean, this is an initial meeting. You know, it's like I can't expect too, too much more from, pe- from people having the guts to even come over. Um, okay. the, the plus for me was that there was nothing really cheesy. Like there was nothing like, you know, I mean, I, I thought it was okay that he said that I was attractive from across the room. I thought that was okay. Okay. Um, you know, it would be nice if there was something maybe a little bit more original, like, um, you know, I, I, you know, your blonde hair ca- caught my attention or... Your, your, your eyes, um, your eyes from across the room, like I really wanted to come over and, and meet you, you know, the woman that was attached to them, even though that, that might sound a little bit cheesy for me, that would be kind of a sweet little thing to say. Um, but there was nothing over the top cheesy or aggressive in it. It seemed really sweet and natural. And I thought that that was nice. Wow. You are a nicer woman than most of the women I've ever talked to. That's interesting because that, that's actually not the way that I thought you were going to respond. But that's interesting information for me to hear because there were a couple of moments where I heard in your voice like a, a deep breath to give more answers. Because for me on my end, um, mm. I kept bombarding you with questions as opposed to opening up myself and sharing and connecting with you. But that's, it's good to hear that there's other perspectives that that actually – 
would have been interesting for you and you yeah okay. I would have stuck around to listen and the fact that I was you know uh, taking a breath um, I think it's really good to slow things down you know when you're in that kind of social setting so you know in because it, it's so loud and it can be so obnoxious and awkward and weird so I would slow things down and take my time you know in answering question and I would be looking at him while I'm doing those things to see if he's engaged with me. Um, so my approach and my, my um, timing would be slowed down and I would be seeing if he is really looking at me, paying attention, you know, where he's looking at me, you know, those kinds of things. Right. Is he concerned that he got a text message or does he not care about his text message that he just got? You know, all of those things I'm kind of observing as I'm slowing down the conversation. Right. Okay, that, and that makes complete sense. So then would you, if, if he said to you, you know, can I have your phone number? I'd, I'd like to take you up for a drink next week. You would, you would say yes? I would say, I, I would say that's a possibility. Is there a chance that you can stick around a little bit longer and we can get to know each other a little bit better before I do that? Okay. That's exactly what I would say. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so let's try one more time, okay, mm -hmm. with, with the conversation. Okay. So... Hi, my name's Brad. How are you doing? Your name's Brad? Yeah. Hi, Brad. My name's Lorraine. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. How is your night going? My night's going okay, except that my girlfriend canceled on me, so here I am. I'm just going to have a little cocktail and then get on with my night. What are you doing? Oh, I'm sorry that your girlfriend canceled on you. Uh, there's probably nothing worse than flaky friends, so I had the same thing happen myself where my friend You're canceled kidding. on me no so <laughs> it's kind of interesting we find ourselves in a similar predicament um, okay well that's really cute that's really cute that you said that because I don't believe you for a second but I think that that's adorable what you just said so. <laughs> all right good so did you feel did you feel more of a connection to this person like compared mm -hmm. to the, compared to the person that before where you know, and I, we didn't even go any deeper to have a conversation, but compared to the conversation from before, what were the differences for you? Immediate connection, immediate connection, adorable. He found a way to connect with me with him taking control and not me. Exactly. You know, the, the, yeah. That, and that was awesome. Yeah. I would have, yeah, I would have liked to talk. So you would have slept with me is what you're saying. You would have had, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> But that's in, but, yeah. But that's interesting. So you're saying, like, in that 30 second interaction, which I don't even think it was 30 seconds. So for this guy compared to the other guy before, if after just that interaction, if like you know there were a couple more seconds of, of talking, if I, he said to you, you know, oh my friend just showed up, but I want your phone number. Um, I you know I have to go be with my friend right now. Um, I'd love to take you out for a drink next week. Would you say yes totally. to that guy? Absolutely. Yes, 